Sentinels able to claw their way back with some strong defense to tie things up 1-1. And now we see them back on the attack to open up this game on split. Now, just like your matchmaking games, B is going to be favored early on for the pistol round. And here comes the flood. And look at all these pieces put into play. You've got the set smokes coming out. You've got the one way uh, cage on the other side. And of course, Gen G are going to capitalize on that the best they can, tearing down two players away from the Sentinels. However, with the spike making it to the site, it's not over yet. You've still got a good bit of play back in. So this could definitely go either way. Shazam going to make quick work of one, but there's Quinn coming back instantaneously as things got dangerous. They just flood the site, deny even the spike part at this point. And honestly, this beginning was great. Staying alive this yep. long, not being too tucked into the site. Remember that, you know, a lot of people will play kind of tucked at the back of, yeah, the side itself, kind of in the cubby at the back of B or, you know, close on the on the wall. And that's a good one and done. But be able to stay alive that long, kind of allowing time for those rotations to come in, because this map is all about rotations, at least in my mind. Um, this, this is going to be pretty good to watch. I think this could be a really fun game. Honestly, we haven't watched a ton of Split. Whenever you're watching a matchup, it was Bind, it was Haven, it was maybe Split game three if needed. Since the sets come out, I have not seen it much at all. GMD is going to open things up with a bomb buddy, so doesn't need the weapon to get it going. As already, they're going to have the jet out of the action, which is Zam down. Okay, Win, I see you. Okay. Again, this is so far so good. Oh, the timing's weird. The timing's weird and bad. Sinatra going to swing on it. The trade's there. They are only on pistol, so any success that the attacking team has is like a big success almost, if you want to kind of put it that way. Um, so Sick now left in a 1v4. It's kind of hard to expect much to be done. And yeah, so there it is. Put down the end. No worries. Uh, two rounds to start with, and quite clean. Three kills against them, and that's about it so far, so not bad at all. Um, this is this is a good beginning for Gen G, at least for the economy. It's it's quite strong. Um, outside of that, though, this is the buyback for the Sentinels, and it's an all-in buy, but it's not going to be fully fleshed out in the fact of having everything they potentially want, I can imagine. Um, unless they complete save, they might have done, actually. I saw a lot of classics. So, yeah, maybe they're, they're fine in this round for money. It's it's going to be tight going forward just because they haven't had much impact overall. But let's see what this round looks like. I'd like a you know nice pacey piece towards A. If that is the case, I wouldn't be surprised if they play full retake. Here comes the push from the Sentinels. Once again, five-man stack. Big paranoia coming out, though, from player one. He used to play Brim. He swapped it over to the Omen for this one, and the paranoia is going to help him slow down the push. Bulldog traded out. Now we're going to see the spike planted. Weapon advantage for the Sentinels in the four versus four. They've got time on their side as well, and a nice flank from Shazam. This could be good. They, they should be posted up for this retake. They've got to know that this was the, you know, the idea, but this positioning coming out is going to be hard to kind of push out of position. Three players tucked towards pillar is kind of weird. And that's going to show where they are. And away we go. Jet goes in. The retake begins. Sick finds Quinn, though. And these lesser weapons are being kind of torn apart. But Shazam finding Effies is going to open up an opportunity. GMD, though. Unable to capitalize on anything on the site, really, beyond that first pick that they got by Pillar. It means that this just slips over towards the Sentinels. But keep in mind, they did have the better purchase there. They had the Phantoms out. They did lose a couple, but not too many. They should be able to reinvest okay. Maybe lacking one gun, potentially, but maybe not even that yet. So maybe two Spectres going to come out or something a little bit lighter for Zombs. Um, unless he, yeah, a Bulldog. So it wasn't too bad. Uh, I'm pretty sure Quinn can get a good purchase. I'm wondering what he goes for. He, if he's he wanted to build that the up, Operator. Right? Yeah, yeah. He's, he's so annoyed. He is 100 credits away from getting his op at 4400. So unfortunately, he doesn't have the weaponry he would prefer, which means he's probably going to be playing a little bit more aggressive in the mid. Effies is going to be with him as they're going to hear the early action over at B any moment. Cage trigger. Yeah, straight Jet. up contact piece. That's it. Just off the back of Jet dashing in. Just, just super dependent on individuals, and it works out when your individual delivers like Shazam just did. Shazam has played three different agents throughout this quarterfinal. Finally falling at the hands of Wynn, and Sick is going to go for the instant res and the peak, the bait and finish. Love to see it. Shazam is going to fall for the second time as player one gets out, even though paranoid. This 
retake is being stalled so heavily by all this utility when it's a quick contact piece like it just was you're gonna have bits and pieces left over and dapper being a little bit more aggressive because gonna make it almost impossible it's time to consider keeping hold of those guns for both sides here because they want to keep them going forward it's a great round and a great kind of off the cuff piece i feel there from the sentinels just kind of running it through basing off the fact of the success that came in from shazam and now it's time to save everyone else's guns. Just play on, keep his, and the other two try and save theirs as well. No no more risks being taken. Dapper's feeling it. He's been top fragging for the squad tonight. Almost got player one. Instead, player one improves to four and one, keeps his phantom, and they have been able to pull off the single, maybe two AR eco rounds in the past. Will they be able to do it again? Defense has the advantage here, but B has been a weak point up to this. Yeah, and people are saying, you know, why would you play a full retake? I, I think that, honestly, if people see map one, you'll see as to why it can be very, very... Um, I guess it's very valuable to do it because you have so much utility to play it back in with. Um, for now, we'll see if that becomes a factor down the line. I don't know if it's as easy to do that. This map is quite tricky to retake. Keep in mind, the choke points are, are pretty brutal. Get out of my but way. it's it's as to why you want to keep that utility and uh, play it back in as a collective. You have more success that way than potentially one player dying on their own if you're soloing a site. Quinn was averaging uh, three kills per ultimate. I actually stopped keeping track after his first one. We'll see if he can do it again. There's the first, there's the second. Multi-kills are lining up in the eco round. Sick, though, too strong with the Phantom over the ice wall. Mid control is taken by the T side, <laughs> T side, attacking side for now. Um, but there are still a lot of presence on the defensive team. Sick, beautiful combination with Shazam there. Just gonna play on the side. This is very individual. This is this is confidence from Sentinels. Just kind of working together, trading off each other well. Now the buys, you know, obviously far from perfect. And you got GMD rolling around with just that sheriff. But gonna upgrade to the Phantom and try and play this one back in. Both players gonna try and save towards the defense side spawn, or not save, but try and position towards the defense side spawn. One on close box and one going wrap around. Probably gonna play it towards heaven. Oh, sick. Goodbye. And now the 1v1. Will they expect Jet to have gone around the world? It seems as though they do. <gasps> GMD, you absolute beast. What a prediction. Did Shazam step? Or was that just pure prediction? I didn't hear. I'm giving him the credit. GMD clutched up and he didn't have to use his ultimate. So the showstopper available for another round. It all started here. Remember, this is an eco. Quinn with the ult on Jet, so effective. Gets the double, and even though his teammates are traded out, they were able to rotate over with Spike planted. Big kills coming out of GMD in the one versus three. All right, 3-2 score. Gen G's got the money. Shazam, very low. So this is a, a huge round for the Sentinels to keep their offense flowing. Nice this paranoia and a hot, yeah. hot hit coming in. That's Shazam with knives out, and he can't even get through the cage before taken down. Yeah, this is this is mad aggression. They're gonna try and keep that tempo up like a high pressure piece. Try and take over maybe maybe heaven control. See how far they can get. But look at this rotation, how quick it is. They're so quick to get here. But Quinn gets outdone by Sinatra, who is just continuing to push forward. They're not slowing down at all. Sinatra making all kinds of noise, but GMD playing patient did not spam through the smoke. Staying secretive, and he also has that rocket. Now he pulls it out, getting aggro. Finds nothing in the smoke as the stage is going to be on the other side of the wall and punished from the back. Good luck in the what, 1v2 now. Ooh, if they peek one by one, don't, 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 don't give them a chance on that. You don't need to. Get out of there. Get that spike away. We don't, we don't play these games. We don't, we don't do that. There we go. Spike gonna be planted. They keep it safe. I was a bit scared. If it got down to a one v one, I'm like, no, you don't, you don't, you don't allow any opportunity to come in. Um, and it looks like this is kind of very paced, very um, quickened hit coming through has worked out really, really well. So, not sure really what the remaining cipher could even do. Maybe time to save that op if yeah. anything. I, yeah, 20 I, again, health. twenty HP. Yeah, okay, we could always discuss, you know, low HP and ops, but let's just kind of call it what it is with that money beside them, it's pretty worthwhile saving it. All right, so Operator will be saved, handed back to Hwin for the next round. Shazam and the Sentinels, though, get the job done as Sick gets the site planted, and we'll see them safely rotate off of B. Will they peak, though? Are they going to go for the peak? And just at the wrong time. 
Michael <laughs> looks away, but no damage is done on either side. 3-3 three, three even playing field. And as I say it, I take a look at the monies. Can we get a buy from Michael? Is it going to have to be another one AR? Single sniper? And some pistols. Yeah, you might light buy around these two guns. You can still do some good damage with it, for sure. God, that frenzy skin just looks very phallic, doesn't it? Oh, sure, <laughs> sure do. It's not, it's not, it ain't it, Chief. It, it really ain't it. Uh, but the attack inside, <laughs> barring Zoms on the Bulldog, and it, on a pretty good position for the purchase. Kind of somewhat of a default throughout the map, kind of two play mid, one holding the Lurk over by A. GMD going to get the early contact towards middle, just going to be kind of careful about this one. Okay, maybe not be careful about this one, and Shazam just flies up middle at you. Shazam checking the corners. Now he knows we can push straight into B. And there is the first one as he helps out Sinatra. Sinatra with the bait and trade on Shazam. They have done that all day long. The duo powering their way through as Shazam finds his third. Just two defenders left. Sniper, the op in the hands of Wynn. He is in a tough spot. A work from Sick, but an instant inject. Now Wynn has to has to do so much more though. I don't know. They, they're surely going to chase that up down. You can't let him keep this one comfortably. They are. They're having a look. You can see Jet and uh, and Ray's having a little bit of a wonder. Spikes down. He's 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 not going to win the round. But let's let's kind of talk about what we're seeing here. Very close affair, but. These two desperate to take that gun away, but this position surely is good for one here. I, I don't see him getting this taken away, unless he misses like a, a straight up shot, right? He's whiffed Let's a few see. today. I know. I, yeah, Do your eyes me. get tired? That's that's what I'm always thinking about. Like, are you looking at the mini map? Are you distracted for any reason? Gets the double Oof. peek from Sinatra, able to lay him down, fakes the climb. And Shazam now pushing forward with Zoms. They're going to wisely back away and keep their weapons as well. So they will keep an operator. They saved this round. So not a terrible performance by Gen G. Just the operator and a Vandal, I believe. But now they should be able to buy again. Yeah, I mean, I think people are getting used to the value of those ops. So get used to people trying to save them. I mean, you know, very, uh, very much how it is. Um, gives Win a good chance in this round to maybe do some damage. It looks like he's going to try and take himself over towards middle, but this looks like maybe a, I don't say pacey because look where the spike is. The spike's over by B, so it looks like they're going to try and fake out that A hit they've done before. I want to see how this looks because okay, the spike's heading over that way. Maybe they've had enough of a success there. I'm, I'm interested this time. I mean, I'm actually curious why the spike's being held over by B, but they've had four players quite committed towards A. They haven't fully gone in, but. You know, maybe to try and cause these rotations, but no one was technically in middle to catch that. So an interesting approach, and I want to see how this now un unfolds. And how much utility is left for the attackers? Because they're trying to draw some out, spotted by a camera. Didn't get much done, but yeah, Zoms, no paranoia. One smoke left. We'll have two here in six seconds. And they're probably waiting on that before they make their push up mid. Meanwhile, Effie's with the Resurrect is going to try and stay alive this round. And they're in a position the for a really setups. good three-two here. If you look at where they're approaching, this could be a really comfy three-two split if they get the timing right. You can see that utility from Omen being put down towards that kind of B hall to try and hinder Raze and Sage. But when this hit comes in, it's going to be hard to handle. Although they do have now borderline four players here for the defensive team. Nice job by Effie's. Gets the first. Finds Sinatra up close. The drop from Zoms is going to clean him up. But so far, defense doing solid. Michael is going to find Zoms, and all of a sudden. It is just Sip, the one who had the spike at the start of the round, hanging out at B, and they get rocked. 4-4. Four, I, four. I actually wouldn't have minded that if they were able to kind of capitalize on that mid-presence they wanted a little sooner. I feel like having those, it's like being a 4-1, and the spike being on the one, which was the Sage, kind of over by the back of B. It, by the time everyone came around, it kind of lost its punch, right? It kind of lost mm -hmm. the whole fake that was going on. It's a bit of a shame. I'd have really liked a bit, if it had a bit more pace, maybe they could have had just that kind of, Nice pinch towards B, just two players, but by the time they got there, there were so many more. A little unfortunate, but now it looks like they're again getting ready for this potential hit coming in, but this time everyone's towards A. Yes, you got Omen towards underpass, but that's just to set that little bit of a paranoia and those smokes into play, and here comes the swift hit. But as we can see, the weaponry is sub par for the attackers. I feel like Shazam is 0 for 3 on that attempt. Might just put that away, even though it's just a pistol round trying I'm to close the gap. Out but they have been ready, either with a cypher cage or two guns pre-aimed at him. They're still committing to this A-ramp push. And it's gonna be Sinatra coming in behind the boom bot. 
Grenade's gonna force GMD out onto the balcony, and they've taken over Heaven Control. Zombies is gonna find Michael, so they've got two guns to work with, at least. <laughs> I'd be mad if I was GMD, but uh, for now, yeah, it looks good. Wait, the spike's on Sick. I'm pretty sure the spike's over there. They've gotta kinda yep, do a little bit is, of a- Sick is in the corner. Yeah, they gotta help him out on this one. What is that wall? What is going on? Play okay. <laughs> okay, Sick. <laughs> what is this round? I don't know what's happening, but somehow they're okay. Yeah, they, they started with pistols. They lost Shazam instantly, and they're still going to win it. It's just when he's got his operator, you know he's not challenging. Another save and a fifth round for the Sentinels as they're pulling out some magic up at A. I'm just, I'm amazed that worked out. Like, there were so many moments where it was like, oh, the spike's now isolated from the others. Oh, you know, this could go wrong. Not nah, all fine. Of course, the USP is going to win against the Phantom. Yeah, he'll build why, a wall. He'll survive with 10 HP, and then he's just going to kill you with his ghost. Are you saying that building walls is the way to get around FPS games? Uh, are you I, telling I me that Fortnite is superior to every other FPS game uh, there is? Uh, only if they're made of ice. Oh, I see. Overwatch, I see. Valorant. Anyway, back to the action here. <laughs> Chat, how are you guys feeling about this one? Let us know as the game is tight, currently 5-4 with the attacking Sentinels up by one. Who do you have winning at all? This is our second quarter final. Already saw TSM earn their way forward. Now we'll see who is going to be able to power through split and lock up their spot in the top four, earning at least $3,000 here in the tournament. It depends how you want to look at this map in my mind. I think it's still... I don't want to say attack bias, it's not. But if you have a good attack, it's a great indicator. I think you've got a really good understanding for what works on this map. But it's been some really weird rounds being won by the Sentinels, you know what I mean? It's it's actually pretty wild. So, for me, I'm, I'm kind of interested to see how this plays out. You already got the peak being held. Um, no aggression from the defensive side. They haven't done too many aggressive defensive plays yet. We haven't seen those kind of pushes out on the extremities. Um, the double stack in middle this time, not too abnormal. This this looks like a more of a normal round, I guess, because the economy is finally stable-ish, at least in this round for both teams. It's been a wonky game so far. Back and forth, back and forth. Both teams winning rounds, they shouldn't. Now it's Shazam looking for first blood. Peek me, Effies. I dare you. Effies has been pretty strong up at B Heaven, despite just five kills at this point. Shadows. And we'll see what player one can do as the spike is moving his way. Big paranoia, but there's an omen flanking, and that was the distraction they were waiting on. Perfect execution of this push from the Sentinel. Sick is going to take down Michael, and all of a sudden, it's just two left alive. Quinn working with GMD against the four planters. And it looks like a, another save here. That was a really good execution from the Sentinels. That was a really nice B-take. Just that kind of play through mid, that nice pinch, that nice pressure. And you saw the the, the Cypher on the on on the Genji side, as soon as you try and deal with the pressure coming through heaven, you, you gotta feel like you, you can't focus towards the B side either. Just overwhelmed. That was so so well done. I, I really like that. Um just again, I, I quite like this map. It shows some really nice executions when it comes to these sites if, if teams are very good at it. And it's gonna force a save out of uh, Genji once again, just trying to keep hold of the guns they have because well the money's the money's gonna be a little rough going forward. Oh, Shazam, don't miss me. When is he able to punish? The sniper rifle survives. How many rounds has Win been holding onto this operator? I feel like he deserves a medal. GMD yep. picks up Zombs as well, so doing a little damage to the economy, but can we check the numbers here? I feel like Sentinels should be pretty solid. Three players should be flush. I do just want to say, I love the fact that after that round, David P in chat is just like, I'm confused. That, that kind of uh, ghost weird round where the eco team just somehow took the site very handedly. I love it. <laughs> I actually can't wait for EU and NA to meet. I think it's going to be such good fun. Obviously, things aren't uh, allowing that to happen right now, but there's some really good fun moments and obviously the old speed demon, uh, the the classic throwback reference to, to a game we can't mention because people get very, very upset about it. Speaking of upset, Effie's probably not happy with that one either. Facing towards middle and getting completely backhanded from Shazam with that off, and again, still trying to take the fight, still losing the fight. Gen G, triple dipping towards middle and not winning a single oh, one. Shazam. Shazam, what a beast of a round from him. Shazam has always been known for his ability to do damage with anything with a scope on it. Again, showcasing his power in the middle of the map. I would peek him. 
All right, 4-7, looking at another 8-4 opportunity for the Sentinels. This is a really good attacking side from the Sentinels. I like this. Um, Genji, you've got their work cut out. Once that, that half switch comes in, they definitely have to kind of match the tempo that's been brought in. This is a pretty diligent attacking side. I like it. Um, been large and in charge of the economy, almost capping out on money for sick. And, you know, obviously Shazam sitting comfy on the op. You've got Dapper towards the high end of it. Zoms as well. They're, they're pretty, they, they did pretty well to keep their economy in such a good place considering. Um, even though there has been some really nice executions, it's it's still being kept control of. Shazam again, feeling confident towards middle. Don't blame him either after that last round. Teammates making the wall weak. This player tries to retreat. Shazam has him dead to rights. Meanwhile, Effie's still holding the top stair. And you can see in the picture in picture, they did it earlier. This time, Sick, not with Spike in hand, is starting to ease his way into the B tunnel. Out come the knives and a rocket to follow, but Huynh is holding the tight corner, holds his ult out, and misses just wide right. Information has been gathered, though, by the defense, and finally, we're going to see a rotation from the Cypher of flank, but it is so far away, rotating all the way through the attacker spawn. Effie's backing up onto the site. Meanwhile, you're also going to see the Omen, player one, there to back him up. I believe still has paranoia, but... Good luck to that Sage. Effie's, if you hold on to this, you're a beast trying to buy a bit of time. You do have Omen playing this really quirky little position. Could be annoying, they seem aware of it. Shazam already removes Effie's though. This is looking pretty good. And there it is, cleared out by Dapper. Good trade on Sinatra's death. And now the play back in is a little bit late in the day, but Michael's still doing a bit of work towards Shazam. The spike does get planted though. Michael's been clutch for them before. GMD. Making it a two on two. They know the location as well after the ultimate goes down. This is Gen G's round to lose. Shots going to the Cypher. They got the Sage cornered off. Spike, well, it's gonna get diffused unless Sick acts on it. 30 seconds before his heal, he is one bullet from death and that is gonna do it. GMD shutting the door. Cage triggered. I'm happy with that half. Honestly, I'm 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 happy with how this looks. I think that's pretty good fun. I think this is competitive going forward. We've seen some pretty ridiculous individual plays on this, and we've also seen some really nice executions. Um, I want to see how you know things kind of sit when we switch over towards the other side. Oh, GMD's play there, just that three piece, just closing out on Shazam like that, reading the play so well. But then, I mean, you got to look at that round from Shazam when he just went off with the op as well. Just just beautiful stuff. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Um, this this brings me brings me deep joy. And Huynh doing his best Jame impression throughout all of this. I like that too. Um, we do see now, obviously, the switch on the half. So we got to see how the you know, newly appointed attacking side of Gen G is able to control the pressure. You know, let's be honest. Sentinels put up a pretty good attacking side. I want to give a shout out to the thirty four thousand viewers tuning in with us today. Thirty three five. If you're keeping track at home, uh, this of course is our second quarterfinals already. We saw TSM with a big win. <laughs> Sentinels trying to move forward. Coming up next will be T1. The pistol round, though, definitely underway and already kills me and traded back and forth. Attackers with the advantage here as Gen G has taken high control. We'll see if they can do the damage from high ground. Zom's trying to stay alive. His teammate gonna get picked from the right. Shazam did trade out one. And Zom's really just has to wait for his cypher. Dapper to get back into position before he takes his fight. I don't think he's got the time for it. Zombs is tr just trying to stay alive. Hunted down by Huin. Jets and shotguns. Is this the new duo? Is this the combo? I think it might just be. Um, for now, sadly, couldn't stay alive long enough to get Dapper over. Of course, kind of hard when you're pinned to the site. So Dapper going to have to play this back in 1v3. All of these afterplant positions are dedicated towards the site itself. So it's going to be tricky to find a way forward. But Dapper going to do the best he can. But you've got a shotgun on one side, two on the other. I'm not liking those odds either, but... Attempt must be made, and good for one, but Huynh gonna get three, and that's the perfect way to begin your road to getting that op into play. All right, Genji. What well, looked like it was gonna be an 8-4 half is now 6-7, with Genji having the money and the weapons going into round 14. Could be tied up here. We'll see where they execute. And Heavy we'll stack over at B. With a little mid attempt, what are you mm -hmm. expecting here, Pansy? Honestly, 
I just love the fact that there's so many players, you know, either still in this tournament playing up soon or, you know, who've already played. I think we've got um, a couple of others just tuning in. I mean, some bros is in chat. You've got everyone kind of, like, you know, turning up. I like that. I like to see it. And it's a gamble stack from the Sentinels, just four of them staying together, trying to do something. You're on pistols. You might as well try something out. You're not going to win straight one-to-one -one fights, normally at least. <laughs> I say this after seeing some very strange rounds, but... Normally, it's what it is. And, you know, it's a gamble stack, and gambles can go wrong, so that's what's happened here. Sadly put, they, they didn't get much out of it. If they can cost them a gun or two, that'd be pretty nice. But beyond that, it, it should be a wrapped up round. Let's see how much damage can be done with these pistols, though. Shazam never <sighs> afraid to go in first. This time it's Sinatra, and Sinatra gets the help from Sick to survive. Quinn at range, putting that judge to work, and he's gonna call out, I've seen three at least. The spike planted, they know where all the defenders are. Now it's just a matter of time. Pick them off at range. This is really nice. So far, so good. It's ticked every box, right? You keep them at range. You don't allow any individuals to come in. You keep those crossfires in the right place. This is all good stuff. This is very clean as well. You gotta try and keep that money as humbled, as kind of pushed down as you can. And Twin's gonna be on a good chunk of cash soon as well, building up off the back of that judge. And how often are we seeing this now? So many times we're seeing these, uh, you know, the dedicated oppers for the team banking on those pistols early and uh, pistols, excuse me, shotguns early. And it works, especially on something like a jet. You can get up close. You can get super in their face. You've got that, you know, um, movement to come through. Now, this is where things switch up. If you're not up to date on the economy, first two rounds go, let's say, one team's way. The third round, traditionally, the team on the opposing side, unless something's gone terribly wrong, does have a more favorable buy. So this is where we could see that fight back in for the Sentinels. And I do want to call out that Shazam has bought up to the operator. Don't believe he has any shields on him right now. But this is something he never got going in map number one. It cost him heavily on the defense. Will he be able to put it to use now? The rotation back to B, not the best time to pull out the operator. But we'll see what they can do on the retake. All four players playing deep on site. I like this though, forcing players on these, you know, guns like the operator to play retake, it's really, really tricky. Traditionally very hard to make count. So, and again, bringing those SMGs into an area where they can really succeed. Those close quarter battles is where they can still make up those odds against the Phantoms, for example. So Shazam trying to play it back in. He's got buddies with them, but time's dwindling here, Pocket. They're running low on how much time they have to make this work. All right, one player, that's going to be their Cypher, just one bullet away, and Michael is going to go down. I don't know if they have time. they got to collapse right now, and just trying to survive is going to be Effie's. Effie's not only survives, he is going to clutch and get a sniper rifle on the way out of the site. Unfortunately, will fall to the blast. But what a play by Effie's to lock that one up. That was super nice. What a nice usage of those slightly worse weapons. I love to see that. And again, this is something that I'm seeing more and more often with these great teams is they're finding ways to make these, you know, less than ideal buys count. Of course, in this round, they've cost them so much. This is brilliant to me. And this then puts, again, more and more pressure on the Sentinels to dig a bit deeper. Okay, well, how much more can you bring? This is going to be a, a very tough game for them on this attack. You'd have loved to have a better buy coming into this and a little bit more to play with, but for now, they're going to be stuck on where they're at and just having to try and make it count. Bulldogs everywhere and SMGs. It's far from perfect. 8-7, big round for both squads. Sentinels holding on to just pistols and a stinger. I thought they had enough money to buy up with specters or we're maybe going to see a few ars instead they're saving for the next trying to go big with the sniper rifle once again and we'll see what the plan is here for the attacking squad they've all rotated over to a they've got the five stack set up the defense they're hearing it all everyone ready for this push unless they just go heaven Technically, they could walk heaven and just undo this, but Shazam could be a game changer. Or it's all for nothing, and I hype it up and it goes terribly wrong. Here we go, that's not bad. Wind's eliminated, Sinatra's found one of them. Uh-oh, this is where problems become bigger, bigger issues. Now, for, for at least the sake of the attacking side, they've kept control of this, but Shazam is still at large. Sinatra also combining with a headshot, and they hold again with pistols and a jet ultimate. How many times have both teams been able to pull this off throughout the three maps? It's been ridiculous. And if you're if you're Sentinels right now, you are you are cheering on the comms. You are getting hype. That is a game changing moment. That's a huge round to win. Huge, huge round.
Even the replay doesn't know what happened. It was too excited by it all. And it's broken the back of the economy for Gen G. They can get a buy, but it's going to be mismatched. So why not try and even out the money? Try and get it as best they can. So this is going to be quite fun now. It swings and roundabouts, right? This is the beauty of having a game that's economy-based. You love to see that. Now, of course, choose on the other foot. What does Gen G do now that they've got the kind of worst buy here? Do they just try and overpower someone? T try and take an op away? Let's find out. I, I think it's Quinn's time to answer back. Here it is. I expected the Jet Ultimate to come out. Also, keep in mind they have a Resurrect available and an Omen flank if needed. Will Genji go all in? I kind of expect them to start to pop off as soon as Quinn gets the first pick if he can manage it. And they're just easing their way through the middle of the map. Nice job by the Sentinels to just play deep on the sites, taking their time. You have to question, though, will they be susceptible to fire from heaven? Sinatra going to try and hold the angle. Blastback goes out at the proper time. I thought he was going to be in trouble. Instead, there's great cover from Dapper. And the blast pack is going to do damage to two. Sinatra's oh God. Phantom is going to do the rest of the work. Dapper and Sinatra, the two-man army over at B, get it done. Okay, everything in my head, you know, when you when you, you get that rap, you get that kind of like heaven presence towards B, you're like, oh, this is pretty good. And then somehow Sinatra just throws like a pack of explosives at you and it's like, nah, don't worry, I'll just tar it around. I'll just I'll just hit the 180 real casual. God damn. Okay. Okay, this game's kind of wild, isn't it? Um, for now, though, the defensive team has definitely kind of got a, a grip on things. They've, they've kind of stabilized a little bit here. Two rounds back-to-back -back is going to definitely help things out. But the buyback in is going to make a bit of a difference here. Let's see what they bring. I, I still think if you're good on this map, the attacking side isn't as much of a problem as people may think it is. Once you're in, you know, a very... Uh, well operating team and i like this somewhat of a default to start with with a heavier lean towards b maybe looking for an early pick but we do see that cypher is in a i don't say a one and done it's tricky to be dedicated towards this you can get cleared out by utility but they've got sinatra by their side so a good little bit of support system in place you still have the sage up in heaven as well i think so the now once this side hit comes in the timing on sinatra and exactly that showstopper could be massive Keep your eyes on the rockets from both sides, and here comes the attack. You've been over it goes Sinatra, oh. double blast pack into the explosion. GMD goes down, perfect grenade, and Sinatra is getting cleared by Dapper, the duo holding it down. He's nuts. I love it. I, I, I can't say it enough. That just brings joy to me, just flying over. Damn, it's like quake all over again. Here we go, though. The rest of the hit was coming through those B-Halls, and it's been just cut to size. You're not going to get anything against these guys. Sinatra showing he's not just that one-trick pony. He's, he's not just playing that one character well. No, no, no. Let me show you what I can do on every other agent as well. That was beautiful. Let's watch this one. Bang, bang, straight over. It's just... Mm. I thought he was so good playing Phoenix on Bind, just playing aggressive corners, peeking with Shazam. I was kind of upset when I saw him go to the raise, but after watching plays like this, he is showing you he can not only play Phoenix, he's got the Sova, which he showed you on the last map ascent, and of course, his raise can be devastating when above you. Why? I, look, okay, I'm going to be honest. Part of me hates the fact that I absolutely love watching Sinatra be this, like ridiculous player like this because you, at the start of the game is like ah oh, he's not gonna do that much ah oh, it's you know overwatch players etc no 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 this guy Wing is an absolute MVP. beast yeah, exactly the, the like the kid's got he, natural talent absolutely he's so damn good and like Just... he plays it in a way that i i think is gonna be fun to watch down the line for now though Sinatra does get overwhelmed over by Heaven. I'm seeing if there's maybe more of that coming through. Got Jet coming over. Shazam's there. Shazam finds one. Traded on, but sick. Should be where all this kind of stops. Uh -oh. Fees, are you kidding uh -oh. me? Okay. Three ain't bad, but it ain't all the players. It would have to have been five if, if they wanted a shot at that one. And we're closing in on map. Well, not even map point. Match point. Big game three for both squads. Tournament life on the line after grinding out Wednesday and Thursday to go perfect. In the group play, Sentinels just a few rounds away from advancing forward to face off against TSM tomorrow. And this has been such a fun series to watch. If you guys are just joining us, make sure you go back and watch the yeah. VODs. We had a great battle to start the day. Now we've got yeah. an even better one going the distance. And it's kind of great to see just the quality of NA play has been taken to a next level after watching the last tournament. I feel like all these teams have been putting in time with their strats, their retakes, their takes. 
executes have been clean on both sides and the ultimate use in this one they're really just showcasing what they can do with raw skill here's a look at sick first line of defense in the middle of the map wants to get a little bit aggro here and he is going to get the noise he needed makes the call they're all stacked up it's not a bad play it, may, it might alleviate some of the want of that cypher to be dedicated towards b they can kind of float on the rotation a little bit easier switch in shazam but they're gonna be peeking into this and win's gonna hold that every single time Here. gonna find shazam succeeding and that alleviates the pressure from heaven so now would they be kind of wanting to push it of course they are but there's two players on the other side one of them being sick gets traded on so it's not over yet res coming in five on three sinatra trying to hold strong he's able to get one dapper is gonna find two and Effie's challenging from above is going to get punished. But it's Zom's left. 1v1. Knows exactly where the Cypher is with a spike planted. Here's a great paranoid. Can he follow it up, though? And there's the peak from Michael. Zom's guess is wrong. And the Cypher gets out with a huge round for Gen G. 9 to 11. They're still breathing and they're keeping the up. Just. That was four rounds back to back for the defensive side. This was a very well needed break back in. That, but that was, yeah, that's down to a 1v1, man. We need to see more from this newly appointed attacking team. It's not even new at this point, but Gen G on the attack needs more. I need to see something that makes me go, okay, they've got it. They've got that little bit of a look. These mid takes have looked, you know, on a knife's edge. Sometimes they win it, sometimes they don't. I mean, imagine if Shazam just got that pick on Win, then it had already been over. It wasn't the case, but we have a lot of presence towards middle this time. Shazam actively looking for these picks in mid, and they're pushing up off this. Last time Win was able to punish him, this time Win won't have an opportunity to even get an angle unless he tosses off that spike and goes above and here you can see in the picture in picture it is going to be an all-out war in the middle of the map oh but this play here comes it's the first time First time he tried it, and I like that. It, I wish he could be able to maybe get the wall up a little bit quicker or be able to make a little bit more out of that. But four players standing against three on this map when rotations yeah. are so tricky to control. If the attack inside just hit the brakes for a second, see if they can catch that omen or keep some awareness towards it, they could be in such a prime position. But it looks like they're peeling away, and this could be a good read from that omen towards the sewers that, well, I haven't heard anyone. But look at the rotation from from the from the cypher heading right back around towards a they've lost control of middle they've lost their vision so it might just come down to that raise but when i say just that raise i might be underselling what he's been able to do recently sinatra has been on fire this time around just one blast pack to his name 84 hp and 17 yeah, shields can connect with multiple headshots when comes flying through calls him out sinatra putting two shots in the body but it's gonna be up to dapper who holds strong and just like that, it's once again a Good one way. versus one. Cypher versus Cypher. Spike not planted. You got to get it down with four seconds left on the clock. All the pressure in the world on Michael. Careful. Oh, no. Dapper. Dapper. Careful. Has he done enough time? He's I done think it. Michael He's done it. it. The, the tripwire won it. Dapper. Careful now, buddy. Don't need to overpeak on that one. He'd run out of time. You knew it. And yeah, what a way to close it out. But again, another super close round. That omen smoke that came in towards those B-walls was so perfectly timed. I cannot believe how well-timed that was. Because that hit could have come through at any moment then. But that timing was so, so good then. I got to call it out, Lauren. That is back-to-back -back rounds that Huynh has won the sniper duel in the middle of the map. Shazam has been getting very aggressive, and Huynh is there to punish again. They didn't win Here the round, but Gen.G had the opportunity. Here we go. Match point 12-9. Sentinels can lock it up right here. Looking at the ults, they've got four of the five ready to rock. Everything in their favor going into this round. See what they do. This is the pressure moment. It looks like a kind of 1-3-1 one, one split. So you try and hold presence across the map while trying to get that mid control. Um, they can now draw their players away. They've kept the players dedicated towards the site. They've drawn them away from middle. But really, the defensive team has kind of given that up. But look at this buy. And this is your best shot at it. This is the round that you need the most. And that's the purchase you're coming in with. It is, you know, mountain climbing level of trying to go up the up the hill on this one. My Dapper. destroyed. Kind of getting a bit of info off that. Sinatra's well aware this player's here, and it looks like the hit towards heaven is coming in. 
Nice first pick. Sinatra's gonna find a second with the help of Shazam. And the daggers keep flying. Down goes Effie's. Quinn was cleaned up. And here comes Shazam trying to finish it strong. GMD is out. Player one, last one standing. And no more. 13 to 9. Big finish by the Sentinels as they're moving on in the semifinals. And so far, both of our group winners with TSM and Sentinels moving forward. We are set up for an incredible Sunday. And I think this is holding true to kind of what we wanted from this tournament, that it was going to be that, well, who really is the best in NA right now? Do we get to finally get a real answer?